Well, I'll have to show you guys this. See, I got uh, my brackets on and uh, corner brackets. And uh, I'm installing, or I already did install the bus bar. And uh, I just thought I'd show you guys that. Okay, what else am I doing? I am letting my camera fall over. Sorry about that. I was going to try to make this not so shaky of a video. And so far, it's been kind of shaky. Even on this tripod. Let's see if I can turn this tripod. Alright, sorry about all that. Maybe it'll stay up now, I hope. I think the tripod made me shake more with, than I would have without it. Hope the camera don't fall over. I need a very good tripod. But we have a little budget here. We don't get money for our videos. YouTube um, don't like me. So let's see. I'm going to put another one of these on. I'll have to start out with like a, a 16, 116 bit. Start my hole. Sure does want to walk around. That's hard to. I found out that drill bits they drill better at a medium speed than the and the high speed is too fast. So now I got my pilot hole started. And get a little bit bigger bit. I just keep changing bits till it gets bigger. I get a bigger hole. Let's skip a couple sizes. Get going up. It's easier that way. Going up to a three sixteenths. I want to go to a quarter. I might be able to push a quarter through that. It's a pretty hefty drill here. Well, I don't have a quarter. It says seven thirty seconds. Oh yeah, I got a quarter. It's in a different drill. Let me push a seven thirty seconds through the hole. It's at three sixteenths. What's that? 
Okay. Like this. Be long now. Oh yeah. I like to make sure the hole is big enough. Because that's pretty much the same size as the screw is. I got some quarter twenty nuts and bolts for it. Chair. Okay. Let's see if this fits. Hope so. Oh yeah. Just like I meant for it too. It fits perfect. Okay, so then I like to put a little bit of silicone on it. Clear silicone. This is just three or four dollar silicone. I think it's water based even. I don't know. It says dap on it. Got it at the lumber yard. I'm going to put this in the drilling. You know what I did was, uh, I had a problem when I was making these by myself. And I'm sorry if my camera shakes too much. But I want to show you. What I did was, I used my table saw to cut some 45s on all these uh, one inch and a half aluminum strips. And uh, I got a 45 in the corner there. I don't know if you can see it. But uh, I got them all just perfect like I wanted it. And uh, I like to leave a little gap at the end. But anyway, I taped it down to the table with duct tape. And I, I put the glass in it because it seems to hold it uh, in place like it's supposed to be. It's got some kind of little a uh, little bit of an angle where it sets better if you set the glass in it. So I set the glass in it, got it all in there, and then I taped it. And I have it all sitting like I want, and I taped it all the way around. I'll tell you what, it holds perfect like that. And so then I I took duct tape, and I put a little piece right here, and I held this corner, this 45 L bracket on with duct tape. I put duct tape here, and duct tape here, and held it up there. And then just like I showed you a while ago, I took a real tiny drill bit, and I started my hole. And then I just switched over from one size up to the next till I got up to about a quarter twenty. And then uh, I drilled my quarter twenty hole in there and then I stuck my bolt through. Of course, you have to waller it a little bit around in a circle kind of so that it will be just slightly bigger than the bolt. And then I bolted it. Then I'd go to the next one that really holds good holds the L bracket in place good and then I I drilled the next one with my starter bit and then changed sizes till I got up to a quarter twenty and then I come around here and done this and seen then all this tape it, it just held everything in place for me while I did that and uh, you know uh, it's a lot of work and so 
it, uh, about, it took me about three nights to do this because I usually try to do it all in one night. It really wears me out, man. Anyway, I thought you guys might enjoy watching that. Kind of a little bit of me putting together one. Maybe sometime I'll show you guys when I'm cutting it on the table saw what I do. Uh, well, for people who don't know how to do that, a lot of people don't know how to do stuff like this. But, you know, if you already know how to do this stuff, you know, maybe you don't want to watch this video. But anyway, it might have gave you an idea. Maybe you didn't know about taping it down to the table with duct tape, but I just figured that out and it, it works real good. But this is my um, 7 volt booster panel. Just about ready to hook up. I'm waiting on some wire to come. And uh, it should be here any day. When it gets here, I'll uh, put my ends on and we'll hook it up to a solar panel and see you know, just what it does. Anyway, thanks for watching.